Welcome to the channel. Well, hello, Miss Tilly. You gonna help me water the garden? Yeah, you heard another paw. I don't know what you did this time. I'll have to put some more medicine on it. Well, welcome to the channel, guys. We're gonna do a water watering video, but uh, while I'm doing it, I'm gonna tell you about some plans I'm gonna start on tomorrow. Ah, well, we can leave the air on. It's too hot to turn it off. Microphone don't pick it up so bad. Well, what you doing, Mr. Waldo? Coming out finally? Yeah. Did you want to say hello to everybody? Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Would you, well, they didn't hear you. Yeah. There was no, there was no giant pickle walking in your yard. You come up with the worst stories, I swear. Look at this guy's. Went and picked me up. A new sprayer magoo. Baboo. Ba bagoo, whatever you call it. All right, let me get away from that air conditioner. We'll start down here. Woo! All right, let me set this down. Make sure y'all are... It was a hot one today. All right, there we go. All right. Tomorrow, I'm going to start tearing apart that bar in the house. It doesn't get used, if you haven't caught me on when I was talking about that. It doesn't get used, therefore it's taken up about five by eight, five feet by eight feet space. And there's no need for it to be there. I don't never go in there and sit at it. So there's, it's just space going to waste. So we're gonna start tearing, I'm probably gonna be, probably gonna tear it all down in one day. That shouldn't take too long. Then, I got to figure out how I'm going to refigure the kitchen. <coughs> I want to take my stove and move it to the back wall where the bar, you know, bar area is now. So, and I'm going to rewire the whole stove, probably buy a new oven because that one just doesn't, boy, oh, look at that ghost pepper. It is beautiful. It was struggling at first. Not anymore. It is healthy. And uh, I think I'm going to turn some of that. Just, I want to leave it open concept. So I don't want to build any walls. Uh, I may put a small closet up in the corner where that one wall is. Uh, you'll, you'll see. But nothing too big. And, and I used to have a sofa sitting about where that plate thing is but there's some support poles that have to stay so uh, we'll have to figure out how to do that I'll figure it out and what is that parsley or that's that's cilantro and that is some sort of pepper basil oh that's basil this is a pepper Jalapeno. This is uh, celery. Celery? Not celery. Uh, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. That lettuce, something's got to it. Probably aphids. Not water it anyway. I feel sorry for it. And sage. Puppies are doing good. I, got, I forgot I got a camera on. Puppies are doing really good. They got a really shaded area if they go up in that kennel back there where the old one used to be. They actually moved the barrel out of the way so they could sleep there without the barrel. Nice green bell pepper there. I've already harvested two peppers off of that. Because the plants aren't real big yet, so I don't want them, that one I'm going to pick tonight. I don't want them stressing over, you know, they're not going to produce well when they're small, if they're loaded with peppers. Oh, this is a whole lot easier watering with this. 
Oh, it's got one of them things you can lock the handle down. Okay. Cool. Bell pepper's doing very nice. Very dark green. That's with peppers, that's how you know they're healthy. If they're a light green, they're struggling. Now that was light green. I took a bunch of eggshells, dug out a little bit, and I buried the eggshells beside it, and then man, within a week, it turned around. But I got a lot of space in these. I wish I could plant. I'm gonna see if I can maybe pick up some plants half price. It's too late to seed. See what I can find fill in them spaces because that's growing space going to waste. So yeah, I'm going to start tearing that down tomorrow. So that'll be some content for a while. It's too hot to work outside. I, you know, I'll have to come outside and cut boards and things like that. I'm also ripping the entire ceiling down in there. I'm going to go with the metal like I have in the kitchen because I like that. Give them a good soaking today. All right, let's start on the fun stuff. Time. Tilt you guys down a little more. So the video I put up yesterday, boy was I upset. Because I get to the editing stage and I realize that the GoPro, uh, the, my other GoPro was on the wrong setting, and <laughs> it come out, you know, come out with that small screen with the bars on the side. I hate that. Now I did get in my editor today, and I found a way to fix that, but you can't repost the video once you put it up. You'd lose all the comments. Nobody's going to, and you'd have even worse views, but... I thought that was going to be one of my better videos, and it's getting horrible views. Horrible. So, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Even though the way it is, it's still all right. Yep, I don't have any ripe ones yet. We should start getting some ripe ones here soon. Let me uh, move you all up a little bit. Those are about ready to ripen. Well, this thing's just kind of hard to hold. I did give these guys a little drink this morning. And I'm going to give them a good soaking tonight. So I did fix, I, I reset both of my GoPros and started from scratch. So this video should come out a lot better. Got a few dead leaves I gotta get off there. Tomatoes are doing great. But I, I should probably get the uh, shade screen out because we've got 100 degree temperatures coming. It was brutally hot today and it was only like 93, I think. The humidity's terrible. Uh. That's what you sign up for when you move to Arkansas. I grew up in this stuff in Oklahoma, so it don't bother me. Well, let me rephrase that. It does bother me now. I just can't be out in the heat, but I've had a heat stroke a few years ago. and if you know anything about that, once you get it, you can't handle the heat anymore. But I don't want to sit in the house like I did last summer. I want to, that's why I want to start that project. And there's a lot more things that need done in there. And the cherry tomato is doing a lot better. A little bit of yellow leaf, leaf on the bottom there, but we'll get it off. Very happy with this year's garden. I think all I'm going to do for now for the shade screen is drive some T-posts along there it's 20 foot long so it's probably going to go way up there just drive some t-posts down and uh, hook it to the house to the screen patio and stretch it out to here just over the t you know the tops of the tomatoes so i'll probably do that early tomorrow morning 
I'll go ahead and film that if I do that and put that on the same video as the teardown so I'm gonna get a lot of nice cedar reclaimed Ooh, got an itch and uh, yeah because there's a lot of cedar on the ceiling so I'll have more wood got three-quarter inch plywood on the on the flooring in there that's coming up it's coming down to the same level as the rest of the place uh, what else was I gonna say I don't know it'll come to me oh I was gonna say this year it's it's weird no wasps you barely see any wasps. I don't understand that. This place is loaded with wasps every single year. And this year, there is none. I mean, if you see one, it's rare. Which I don't really mind, but, you know, what's up with that? Uh, you guys noticing that where you live? Let me know in the comments, because that is unusual. Even though wasps are the ones we have, they're mean and all that, they're still, they help pollinate. And we just don't have them. I don't have any trouble getting things pollinated here. Well, there goes Melly. Where are you going, Melly? He's on the, oh, I think another dog. She, she drug a big old cow bone from the pasture. And she's been protecting that. She's got it down at the end of the driveway. Don't ask me why. That lady loses a lot of cattle. Oh, it's a warm one. All right. That dude's really healthy. Yeah, I can see those are going to start ripening up real soon. Wow, those, I got to, that's a constant battle with those yellow leaves. You got to get them off there. It'll spread to the rest of the plant. I haven't been through in a few days. Put y'all up a little bit so you can see more. The only issue I'm gonna have, I don't think it'll be an issue, but filming inside is always a challenge. I ordered a light that will fit on the case of, that my GoPro's in. It clips right into the cold shoe, so that should help. And I also have a couple of ring lights that I can set up, so I don't think that's gonna be a problem. It's just the close quarters, you know trying to get your camera set up like when I do my cooking videos those are always a challenge I'm probably not gonna film this whole thing guys it's gonna take take quite a while tonight so we'll, we'll go a few more minutes but I mainly want to just get on let y'all know that I'm gonna start the tear down tomorrow and the place is going to look different. Not that I film in there that much, but there are several videos showing the inside of my cabin. Oh, the mosquitoes. I think, I think the mosquitoes ate all the wasps because they are horrible this year. I did change to another hose. Ah, oh, spider web in the face. Ah, excuse me. Ah, I hate that. Ah, man. Big old spider web. And I got a lot of these cages. You'll see spider webs on the tops. I leave the spiders because they help eat the insects. They'll trap the insects. So if you ever see those, leave them alone. The spider is not gonna eat your plant. They want the bugs that are on your plant. Yep, I must like be like one big giant mosquito candy bar. Get off me, fly.
Yeah, this this wand I bought is a last the one I had last year was a long wand. And this one's much shorter. I like it better. But they're not cheap. I think this was like 25 bucks. And they usually only last a year. Especially if you forget and leave them out all winter. Man, they are, there are a lot of blossoms on these tomatoes. I'm gonna be full up with tomatoes, that's for sure. Not complaining. Uh, I gotta go down the middle so I can reach all the plants. Uh, it's getting to be a tight squeeze. Now I forgot where I left off, right there. And I'll say it again, the reason I put the mulch in, well, there's a variety of reasons. Keeps uh, the moisture in there longer. A lot of pests don't like that. But the main reason, I can just blast it with the water, which leads to getting the water in done quicker. And you don't have to worry about the dirt splashing on the tomatoes because that is one of the worst things you can do to a tomato plant is get dirt on the leaves. That's the primary reason for cutting the bottom six to eight inches is so they don't touch the soil or the ground. Ooh, look at the marigolds going on in here. Look at all the tomatoes on that dude. Do you know this garden? These tomato plants got their own Alexa. Yeah. I don't know what they listen to, but it works. I don't know which one talks to the Alexa. I have never seen them do it. But they do. What what would a tomato listen to? What do you think? Rock? Blues? Certainly not the blues. I don't know. Tomato grunge. That's what I'm going with. Yeah, that one needs staked up. The cage is leaning. Yeah, the garden's doing really well here. It's a good place. Now, two years ago, this is where the garden was. Well, actually, it was where the dog apartment sits. And it did well. So because it gets a lot of shade over here that it wouldn't get out there in the open. Out there now, it's still got bright sun on it, so it was getting way more sun than it needed. All right, I think we'll water this row and call it a video. Don't you guys stay tuned. For more building videos now I don't know how it's not something that's gonna happen overnight I got to do it as I get the funds and until them little rugrats are gone the funds are limited but uh, I gotta get this bug out of my hair but I'm not destitute I still got some two by fours left, but I think they're treated and I don't want treated inside the cabin. I don't think I'm gonna really need any because I'm not building the wall. I'm gonna frame out a small closet. And I'm gonna frame it out really good. Because that's gonna be the tornado shelter. Now the bathroom, it's got steel plates in it, but it's really, it's on the west side of the house. So that's the first thing that's gonna get hit. Of course, after watching videos of some of the most recent tornadoes, you're not going to survive anyway. No matter what, it takes everything. Uh, hopefully the mountains help divert some of them, but as you guys know, it has taken a lot of my trees out, so it's, it's not a guarantee. Water pressure went down for some reason. Probably a kink in the hose. All right, guys. 
I'm gonna just say goodbye put this up we'll have a video tonight that lets you know what I'm doing look at them old mar marigolds bright in the yellow. I appreciate you watching my channel if you haven't watched that video it's one of my better ones so go back even though it's not in the widescreen format parts of it is the one camera it was in the widescreen when I did the uh, driving so it still ain't that bad go check it out give me a comment in it because I put a lot of work into that video uh, went through a half tank of gas to get that video so I need people to watch it all right man happy trails